Hello, hello, my Kaivio people. How is everybody doing? This is Steven van der Paal here, CTO for Kaivio. And in this video, I wanted to show you a few updates we recently released. Um, as you might have known, the, the frequency has gone down a little bit. This is not because we're working less hard. It is because we are working on very, very awesome and big changes. Uh, however, that said, I still want to show you some really cool uh, new updates we have and some really important updates as well. So let's have a look. Uh, the first one is actually when you go here and you select any of your sites and you go to edit site for the current one. So let's have a look there. And what we have created here is something that has been requested a lot. Um, if you go here you see the domain mapping uh, this of course already existed so let's just uh, map to a domain if you want a custom domain of yourself instead of using the uh, well still insta suite domain now but soon to be kaivio domain so you select your own and then uh, we have new domain mapping instructions which are over here so this is the link just open it in a new tab and it's incredibly important that you read through and follow these exact instructions. So what is new? We now support um, SSL for your custom domains fully automatically by the system. This is incredibly useful as um, I'm sure most of you all know that having SSL, so HTTPS in front of your domain, uh, like here, is very important for uh, trust for your customers, for SEO, for Google, uh, so <coughs> and even in the future uh, Chrome has already started doing that uh, it starts to give warnings if you have for example a form with a password field uh, which is not on uh, SSL so basically what you do you have to fill out uh, a domain over here like special.kvsocial.com uh, one a very important thing to note is we do not support just root domains. As you can see, root domains are not officially supported, so only continue if you know what you are doing. We do not offer any support or on setting up root domains. Uh, read the instructions how to set everything up, uh, which is this uh, article over here. So you can have www.kvsocial.com, which is fine. Uh, anything here dot say so kvsocial dot com. Of course, you need to set that up in your DNS manager, but uh, again, that's all explained here in this article. So that's really important. Uh, like the, the root domain is still possible uh, if you know what you're doing. But again, uh, I'm not going to even explain it because uh, we don't want to because it will uh, cause problems uh, in the end. Uh, because a lot of people, when we recently changed IPs, uh, had it set up like with root domain. A root domain you can only point to an IP, and if we have changed that IP, it messes up your website, and then you'll have problems. So uh, we want to avoid that in the future. Uh, hence our decision to only support uh, like uh, websites, custom domains like this. Then, once this is set up, once your DNS is set up, you go and check and validate. Um, your your DNS which uh, is going to look like this so we will check uh, DNS servers at three different places only until all three of them validate then you can install your SSL this is really important that uh, everything validates first so this can take uh, up to a few hours uh, theoretically it can take up to 48 hours however um, in these days it basically never takes that long it's always just a few hours max and then it will be fine then when that's done all you have to do is here press the active on the website SSL and we will install SSL for you on that domain uh, so everything works nice and easy so huge change this is not an easy feat at all on our side we had a lot of uh, uh, cooperation on the, in the back with the coding and the sysadmin and DevOps guys uh, but it is there now, it's working and it's tested, so that's really good news for you guys. Alright, so the second uh, big update I wanted to go through is something that Neil absolutely loves. And I hope a lot of you email marketers out there will love as well. So I just went to subscribers here. And then I'm going to go to import subscribers. 
and I'm just gonna go and import a CSV file just the test file here, oh here this is the one alright I give my consent guys don't spam remember if you if we get you spamming you will be disabled without a refund and then just import preview alright so these are some test uh, values of course and then we are going to find a list I think this one has one with a sequence so if the list has a sequence you will see this option here start from a specific sequence the sequence will start from the first step if the option is not checked so yeah, I check this one and then you see the sequence and this uh, particular uh, list only has um, one sequence but <coughs> If you have multiple uh, sequence emails, you will see them all uh, listed here in this drop down. And you can select, okay, I want people that I'm importing right now to start uh, from this sequence or the next one or the last one. So this is really powerful if you're um, importing new people and you can set them up to start at a specific um, point in your uh, autoresponder sequence. So I really hope you like that. Uh, there's a few other smaller changes in the back. Uh, let me check here. Uh, we had an issue where some people uh, haven't been paying us for uh, their monthly accounts for quite a while. So uh, congrats on that, guys. You've had uh, InstaSuite for free for quite a while. However, uh, we are taking measures that that's not going to happen again, of course. Uh, we've been quite lenient, and I think we, uh, our support team has already contacted a few. It's just a few people, though. Uh, but no big worries, it's just a small uh, back, uh, back end thing we fixed. Um, the sequence pause, uh, if, if the uh, sequence is paused, it, it would fill after restarting, that's fixed as well, and uh, some other smaller bugs. However, we are very proud to announce that uh, with our new deployment sequence, which I talked about in another video, uh, we have a lot of uh, testing stages right now, so six Q&A servers, the development area and the staging area, and then it goes to production, which uh, the whole goal of this setup is basically uh, getting uh, less bugs on production. And we are finding uh, less and less bugs on production. Uh, we get less and less bug reports from users. So uh, that's very good news. So we can focus more on creating new stuff and making uh, Kaivio more powerful for you. So that mentioning as well, just in this video, I kind of wanted to uh, tease you a little bit uh, with the new incredibly cool looking uh, dashboard that we are working on. Uh, so you know InstaSuite is chasing to Kaivio, uh, we will start this process, well we already started it in the back, but uh, it will start showing uh, in, a, in a, what, what date is it today? 20 seconds, so in about a week you'll start seeing changes. Uh, these changes are incremental, so not everything at once. Uh, because it's just too big to do it all at once but the whole um, the whole uh, UX is going to change it's going to be way cleaner uh, much more per module uh, so not everything uh, in the same man uh, menu just to keep everything way more clean and easier to use and uh, with that we're also rebuilding a lot of the stuff uh, just making it more stable more faster um, and uh, more ready to be extended in the future and I just wanted to show you guys a really cool like flash of how that's gonna look. So I really hope you like this guy. This is, is how uh, more or less this is not 100% done yet. There's a small few, few smaller changes still to be done, but this is kind of how it's gonna look. And the new dashboard uh, will be like this. And then when you open a particular module, it will only show the menu for that particular module, and we'll also make sure. Uh, we'll, we'll add a drop down uh, jump box so to say so it's very easy to go from one module to the other module quickly uh, for your navigation of course so I really hope uh, you like this new design uh, definitely let us know by below this video and uh, I think that's it for today um, yep that's it for now and uh, as said before we are working on some really big stuff uh, amongst others of course the, the huge uh, UX change but that also uh, still we are working very hard on the product builder uh, and redoing the complete membership builder uh, which is going to be uh, very cool as well and next week there will be some more um, 
improvements for email marketing, including um, some more um, smart algorithms to detect uh, spammers. Uh, it's, it hasn't been a huge problem at all. There have only been a handful of people that have been misusing the system, which is uh, good news, I think. Uh, but yeah, we uh, because we want to have a quality for everybody and make sure deliverability is as good as it possibly can be. Uh, we're going to be very strict on on spammers, and we're building some small uh, smart algorithms to detect those and automatically take action as well. So spammers, be aware. Uh, you we will catch you. So stop doing that. <coughs> All right, cool. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you like it, and we will talk to you soon in the next video.